got your belly? Who's got your belly? Oh, who's got your belly? Oh. Well, I've got a big announcement today and it's got to do with these little bundles of joy here. I decided I am finally going to take the next step in waterfowling and get a retriever. Uh, it's been something I've been talking about for a long time. I've wanted to get a retriever for quite a few years now, really ever since I got into waterfowl hunting. But I was in high school the first couple of years I was into waterfowl hunting. Then I was in college and throughout that entire time I always was using that as an excuse to not get a puppy. Uh, I felt like being in school, it just wasn't the right time. Looking back on it now, I feel like I definitely could have got a puppy then. I would have had to make some sacrifices for sure, but it was definitely feasible. But this year being my first year out of college, uh, I pretty early on decided I was gonna get a puppy, but I just didn't know where to start. Uh, I had hunted over a variety of different dogs, you know, pretty much all labs. Um, I did get to hunt with uh, my buddy Scott's wire hair pointing Griffons out in Idaho, and I really enjoyed those. But I've hunted with a lot of labs. I've always been very drawn to labs. Uh, my family had a lab growing up that was just a pet, not a retriever. Uh, so I was kind of, I was leaning towards getting a lab and, uh, I was working up here for Corey again this summer and then into the fall and I got the opportunity to hunt over his two labs, Rue and Bonnie. And after getting to hunt with them a good bit during the fall, uh, I was it was pretty locked in my mind that I wanted to, to get a puppy from one of the two of them. Uh, he has done breedings with Rue before, never with Bonnie. Uh, and Rue actually came into heat this fall and luckily enough, she got pregnant and had this beautiful litter of eight little black lab puppies. So uh, I was pretty confident I wanted to get one of them. And then I've got to spend about the past, they're about six weeks old now. I was actually there on the night that they were born and I've got to spend the past six weeks watching them grow up. And that has 100% solidified for me that I want to get one of these puppies. After getting to watch them grow up, you know, I really have connected with their personalities. But the main reason that I really wanted to get one of these puppies is because I've got to see the type of retriever that Rue is. Um, I have did a lot of, not I guess I wouldn't really call it research, but I've talked to a lot of people about getting a puppy over the last year or so. I've just been kind of inquiring with different people about what I should be looking for. And the thing I've heard time and time again is that there's no way to guarantee that you're going to get the perfect puppy. Uh, what you can do is you can stack the deck in your favor by getting a puppy from parents that have a proven strong genetic, you know, high drive, um, they've, you know, good retrievers and also parents that are proven to be trainable. So uh, this litter has both of those characteristics, high drive and high, high trainability. I don't know if that's the right word, but that's what I'm gonna go with. Um, Rue is a master hunter. Uh, in the AKC. So she's basically progressed through the AKC hunt test circuit to the highest level and got her master hunter title. And then the male in this breeding is Sean Stahl's FC Carl, uh, who I've heard a ton of great things about from a variety of different people. And he is a FC champion. So he's gone through the field trial circuit, which is an even higher standard. It's a basically competition instead of a test. You know, the AKC and UKC side of things, the retrievers are uh, trying to prove that they're up to a certain standard in those circuits. And then the field trial circuit, it's actually a bunch of retrievers getting together and competing to see who's the top retriever at that hunt test. So yeah, I've got to spend, like I said, a ton of time with them. I've actually, I'd spent time with them every single day. I've been uh, here feeding them, cleaning up after them. I've just got to really see the entire puppy process from start to finish. Uh, she's been an absolutely incredible mom, so patient. Uh, she actually just finished up feeding them lunch. And so I've really got to connect with their personalities as well, which is something I've been absolutely blessed to have that opportunity. Not many people get that opportunity. I've really got to see each of their personalities develop and, uh, I've picked out one in particular that I've really been drawn to. I feel like he's really drawn to me as well. One thing I've heard time and time again uh, while kind of talking with different people about the puppy process is that just as much as you pick the puppy, the puppy picks you. And uh, Little Red Collar is a male. He's actually the run of the litter. And his personality is just kind of meshed with me since the get-go. He's a little bit submissive. 
um, but he's just incredibly sweet, uh, has a high drive. Really, all these puppies have a ton of drive. I've got to see it really come out in them in the last two weeks. They're retrieving stuff all over the garage here, and uh, he has it just as much as anybody else in this litter. So I think he's going to be the one that I'm taking home with me, and I'm going to be documenting as much of the entire pop puppy process, training him into a retriever as I can. Um, I'm planning on doing a bunch of different videos kind of from start to finish, hopefully. Uh, he's going to start off as a little seven-week-old seven puppy coming back with me to Virginia, and hopefully by the end of it, he'll be a uh, finished retriever and going out and getting my ducks and geese for me hopefully here starting next season. Although I'm not going to rush the process at all. I'm going to try and take my time. I'm going to definitely be working with Corey a lot during it. Uh, he actually got Rue here to her master or her senior hunter title in nine months. So uh, pretty high kind of standard that I'm going to be trying to chase as well. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to have any super high expectations. Just going to, you know, try and turn him into an awesome little retriever because I know he'll have the genetics uh, to do it. So yeah, um, I guess last thing to touch on, uh, and hopefully this hasn't been too rambly so far, but I am still trying to pick out a name for Little Red. A couple names that I've liked so far that I've come up with, I really like the name Leroy uh, for a male dog. I also like the name Clyde. I like the name Tank, although I feel like Tank is a little bit uh, more commonplace. I'm kind of wanted to name him something a little bit more unique so yeah if anybody has any name ideas that you would think would fit kind of a little runt runt male black lab uh, leave in the comment section down below and I'm all ears and I'd appreciate it but yeah I'm incredibly excited about this there's actually a couple puppies from this litter still available so if you're interested in getting a puppy here in kind of the next couple weeks uh, shoot a message to Corey on Instagram I'll put a link to his Instagram either somewhere in the description or somewhere on the screen right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you clicked that subscribe button. And if you have any questions about anything I talked about, leave in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Hope everybody out there is staying safe. God bless and thanks for watching. <laughs>